tengo alfa, tengo América, llegó, tengo América, llegó, tengo alfa, tengo América, llegó, 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 tengo Okay, I will talk about the Tuna Delta Uniform 1500T. A simple tuner here. I will use it for my 40 meters, a 40 meter antenna, a monoband dipole, and uh, I'm using a power amp from Arcom, Arcom 1000. And this tuner can handle 1.5 kilowatt. And my normally power, what I use, is 500 watts. So I think it's not uh, difficult to tune my antenna with 500 watts and going out there. Okay, and uh, more I will show you here in this clip about this uh, tuner, what arrived today here. My name is Bert, Papa Alpha 5 Hotel Romeo. This tuner can handle 1.5 kilowatt, a very high power. And I will use it uh, for my uh, monoband dipole and uh, mostly I use uh, 400, 500 watts. It's uh, my normally power what I use and I think uh, it's no problem with that, with this tuner and uh, to handle. Yeah, okay, here we see the tuner Delta Uniform 1500T and uh, yeah, the tuner has uh, two capacitors, number one and number two, which you can use when you tune your antenna. And that is an antenna switch or a direct switch, coax one and coax two. And then you have a bypass, you can use a receiving antenna there. And coax one and coax two. Yeah, uh, tuned. But this tuner has also a wire line and uh, on the back side but I will show you later in this video here now uh, we see here the antenna uh, the band switch you can uh, switch uh, 7 megahertz 14 megahertz and so on the band switch with a coil and then you can tune the tuner with the two capacitors it's a very simple tuner, but it can handle very high power. So we see the back side. That is a connection from the transmitter to the tuner, 50 ohm. That is a bypass or the receiving antenna or a dummy load. That is a coax 2 connection and the coax 1 connection. But when you use the balance line here, you must connect this jumper here into the coax 1. In the, yes, then you can use the metric antenna connection here. But you have to connect the jumper to the coax 1. That is very important. Otherwise it will not work. So here we see again the DO 1500T tuner with uh, two capacitors and the antenna switch with a bypass and coax 1 and 2 direct and the meter, the cross needle meter and the other capacitor and the switch for 200 watts and 2 kilowatts. And this tuner can handle 8.5 kilowatt. Enough for my power, what I use 500 watts. Very, very nice and looks like very nice. And very easy to use. There's a band switch 7, 10, 14, and 18, and so on. All the bands, what we can use. Okay. This is a DO1500T, 
And that is the backside again. What I say earlier, coax 1, 2 and the bypass and the symmetric antenna line and how you can use it. You have to put the jumper in the coax 1 and the ground and the ground. Okay, that is the tuner and hope it will work very fine. So here is uh, Delta Uniform 1500T antenna tuner and uh, I will uh, a little bit show you how it works. It works very fine and uh, works very good with my amplifier here with the Acom 1000 and uh, yeah, I will uh, a little bit testing this tuner here with a good SWR and I have uh, tuned my antenna with this uh, antenna tuner and now uh, we will see how it works. <coughs> One, two, three, four, testing, one, two, here is Papa Alpha 5, Bottle Romeo, Papa Alpha 5, Bottle Romeo, testing here, test, one, two, three, four, hold up, testing, one, two. Yeah, one, two, three, four, testing, one, two. Okay, it's uh, very good, very good work. So this was a little test about my antenna tuner Delta Uniform 1500T and uh, you have seen it's very good working and I put out uh, almost 500 watts. Thank you for watching. Radio 9 Zulu, India Romeo 9 Zanzibar. Whiskey Bravo 5, please again. Yeah. Echo 3, Papa Japan, 15 Tango 9, Sierra Tango X-ray. Charlie Tango again.